Hello students, welcome to Creator Classes. I am Gurmeet Singh and also welcome to our series on areas related to circles. In this series, we will cover all these lectures using the power of animation and the visualization. The link to all the lectures are given in the description. Check it out. Apart from all this lecture, we are also having the formula list and the quizzes. The PDF of the formula and the concept list will help you to brush up the concept and the quizzes will help you to check your preparation, the level of preparation before the exam. Check the link in the description. In this lecture, we will cover the exercise 11.1 .1, question number 1 to 5. So without taking any further time, let's start with this lecture. Here it is. Before starting the lecture, let's understand some of the formula and the concept related to the chapter. This is a circle and this is a sector. Sector is the region between the two radius and the arc. The area of the sector of angle theta is theta upon 360 into pi r square. Here theta is this angle and r is the radius. Further, AB is the arc. AB is a portion of the complete circumference of the circle. The length of the arc AB for angle theta is theta upon 360 degree into 2 pi r. 2 pi r is the complete circumference of the circle. And for theta, the length of the arc AB is theta upon 360 degree into 2 pi r. Further, this is the segment. Segment is the region between the chord and the arc. Here AB is the chord. So the region between the chord and the arc is the segment. We do not have a special formula to find the area of the segment, but we can calculate the area of the segment using the sector and the triangle. So area of the segment is equal to area of the complete sector minus area of the triangle. This way we can calculate the area of the segment. We can use different method to find the area of the triangle. One of the method is to draw a perpendicular from the center to the chord. This angle will be a 90 degree angle. The main benefit is that it forms two right angle triangle. In the right angle triangle, we can apply the Pythagoras. We can apply the trigonometry to find the missing dimensions through which we can finally find the area of the triangle. So these are the basic formulas and the concept that will be helpful in solving the questions related to the chapter. So let's move to the first question of the exercise 11.1. Find the area of a sector of a circle with radius 6 cm if angle of sector is 60 degree. So this is the question. Let's observe the question. We are having a circle of radius 6 cm and we have to find the area of the sector whose angle is 60 degree. Here theta is given as 60 degree. This is the sector, the region between the two radius and the arc. And the area of the sector is theta upon 360 degree into pi r square. We know theta as 60 degree and radius as 6 centimeter. We can directly put the value. On solving, we got our answer as 18.86 centimeter square. Got it? We have done with the question number one. Let's move to question number two. Find the area of a quadrant of a circle whose circumference is 22 cm. Let's observe the question. In this question, we have to find the area of a quadrant of a circle. The circle is basically divided into four quadrant and we have to find the area of any of the one quadrant. All the quadrant are same, so we can calculate area of any of the one quadrant. All the other quadrant will be similar to each other. So let's take this quadrant. This angle will be equal to 90 degree. The complete angle of a circle is 360 degree and we are having total 4 quadrant. So each of these angle will be equal to 360 degree upon 4 which is 90 degree. So we got angle theta as 90 degree. Now in the formula of the area of the sector, the missing term is the radius. We have to find the radius. The hint is given in the question that is circumference is 22 centimeter. And we know the formula of circumference which is 2 pi r. So 2 pi r is equal to 22. Let's put pi as 22 by 7. On solving, we got radius as 7 by 2 centimeter. We know r and theta. We can directly apply the formula of area of the sector. Let's put the value. On solving, we got our answer as 77 by 8 centimeter square. So we have done with the question number 2. Let's move to question number 3. Question number 3 is the length of the minute hand of a clock is 14 cm. Find the area swept by the minute hand in 5 minutes. So this is the question. This question is talking about a clock. This is a clock. And we are having a minute hand. 
the length of the minute hand is given as 14 centimeter. So this dimension is 14 centimeter. And we have to find the area swept by the minute hand in 5 minutes. This minute hand has traveled 5 minutes and we have to find this area. We can draw a circle with the same center as the center of the clock with radius as the length of the minute hand. So we got a circle here with radius as 14 cm and the minute hand has traveled for 5 minutes. So this shaded region is the area covered by the minute hand in the 5 minute and we have to find the area of this shaded region. Let's see. This shaded region is looking like the sector. Sector is the region between the two radius and the arc. Here the minute hand is the radius for this circle. So these two line segments are the two radius and this is the arc. So this is a sector whose area we have to calculate. If we apply the formula of the area of the sector, we need two inputs. First is the angle and second is the radius. The radius of 14 cm is given in the question, only the missing dimension is angle theta. So firstly, let's calculate the angle theta. The minute hand complete the one revolution in 60 minutes. And the complete revolution of a circle is 360 degree. That is the complete angle around the center of the circle. It is 360 degree. So we can say 60 minute correspond to 360 degree. The complete revolution around the circle or the complete revolution of the minute clock. So 60 minute correspond to 360 degree. 1 minute will correspond to 360 upon 60 and 5 minute will correspond to 360 degree into 5 upon 60 that is 30 degree. What we have done? We have simply applied the unitary method. The complete revolution of the minute clock that is 60 minute correspond to 360 degree. So our 5 minute will correspond to 360 upon 60 into 5 that is 30 degree. So our angle is 30 degree. We got theta as 30. And the radius is already given as 14 cm. Now we can directly use the formula of area of the sector. Let's check pi as 22 by 7. On solving, we got our answer as 51.33 cm square. That is the answer of this question. So we have done with the question number 3. Let's move to question number 4. Students, a important thing for you. Check the description for the PDF of the complete formula list and also the link to the quiz. Use the formula list to brush up the concept before the exam and the quizzes to check your preparation before the exam. The link to both the formula list and the quizzes are given in the description. Check it out. So let's back to the lecture. Question number 4. A chord of a circle of radius 10 cm subtends a right angle at the center. Find the area of the corresponding first minor segment and second major sector. So let's approach this question. This question is talking about a circle of radius 10 cm and this circle is also having a chord. Let's take the chord AB. This chord is subtending an angle of 90 degree at the center. It means this angle is 90 degree. The radius is 10 cm. It means OA and OB will be equal to 10 cm. And in the first part we have to calculate the area of the minor segment. It means we have to find the area of this shaded region. Segment is a region between the chord and the arc. So this region is the segment, especially the minor segment. So how will we find the area of the segment? Area of the segment is equal to area of the sector minus area of the triangle. Here area of this segment is equal to area of the complete sector minus area of this triangle. So firstly we will find the area of the sector, then we will find the area of the triangle, then we will simply subtract the area of the triangle from the area of the sector. So firstly let's find the area of the sector. We know the formula theta upon 360 into pi r square. We know theta as 90 and radius as 10 cm. Let's put the value and let's solve it. We got the area of the sector. For the time being let's keep it on the side. We got the area of the sector. Let's find the area of the triangle. If you observe this triangle is a right angle triangle. Angle O is a 90 degree. And we can simply apply the formula of the area of the triangle which is half into base into height. Here base and height both are equal to 10 cm. So we got area of the triangle as half into 10 into 10. That is 50 cm square. We got the area of the sector and area of the triangle. Let's find the area of the minor segment, which is area of the sector minus area of the triangle. 
let's put the value on solving we got 28.5 centimeter square that is the answer of the first part that is area of the minor segment got it in the second part we have to find the area of the major sector let's see this is the minor sector and this is a major sector and in the second part we have to find the area of the major sector pay your focus on the wording of the question in the first part it is segment which segment minor segment in the second part it is sector which sector major sector don't be confused with the wording so let's find the area of the major sector here this will be the angle theta the complete angle is 360 degree and let's remove 90 degree from 360 degree we got 270 degree so for the major sector angle theta is 270 degree and we know the radius is 10 centimeter let's apply the formula area of the sector is theta upon 360 into pi r square let's put theta as 270 and let's put radius as 10 centimeter so on solving this is the answer we got the answer for the second part so we have done with the question number four part one and part two let's move to the question number five in a circle of radius 21 centimeter the arc subtends an angle of 60 degree at the center find three parts are given first the length of the arc second area of the sector formed by the arc third area of the segment formed by the corresponding chord so this is the question firstly let's observe the question this question is talking about a circle of radius 21 centimeter Further, this question is also talking about an arc which is subtending an angle of 60 degree at the center. So this is the arc and this is the angle which is 60 degree. In the first part, we have to find the length of the arc. Here this is the formula of the length of the arc. The inputs are theta and the radius. We know theta is 60 degree and radius is 21 centimeter. Let's put it in the formula. We got the length of the arc as 22 centimeter. So we have done with the part one. In the second part, the question framer is asking area of the sector formed by this arc. This is the sector, the region between the two radius and the arc. So we have to find the area of this sector. Let's use the formula of the area of the sector. Here the input are theta and radius. Theta is 60 degree and radius is 21 centimeter. Simply just put the value. On solving, we got area of the sector as 231 centimeter square. In the third part, the question framework is asking the area of the segment formed by the corresponding chord. So the question is talking about a chord. Let's join the point A and B. We got the chord AB. And we have to find the area of the segment. This is the segment, the region between the chord and the arc. So we have to find the area of this segment. We know area of the segment is equal to area of the sector minus area of the triangle. Area of the sector we have already calculated as 231 centimeter square. Just we have to find the area of the triangle. Let's observe the triangle. The two sides of the triangle are given as 21 centimeter and this angle is given as 60 degree. And we know the property of a triangle. The angle opposite to equal sides are equal to each other. It means these two angles are equal. Let's denote these two angles as angle X. And we also know the property of a triangle that is the sum property of a triangle. The sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. So we can say the sum of these three angles are also equal to 180 degree. 60 degree plus X plus X is equal to 180 degree. On solving, we got x as 60 degree. All the three angles of this triangle are equal to 60 degree. That is, this is an equilateral triangle. All the three angles are equal and all the three sides will also be equal. And we know the formula of area of an equilateral triangle that is root 3 by 4 a square. Here a is the side of this equilateral triangle. All the three sides are equal. We can take a as 21 centimeter. On solving, we got area of this triangle as 441 root 3 upon 4 centimeter square. So we got the area of this triangle. Now we can find the area of the segment, which is area of the sector minus area of the triangle. So let's put the value. This is the answer. That is the area of the segment formed by the chord. Got it? We have done all the three parts of the question number five. So we have done with the question number five. 
सो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव डन विद दिस लेक्चर होप यू हैव इंजॉयड द लेक्चर इफ सो लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर दिस लेक्चर एंड डो नॉट फॉर्गेट टू चेक आउट द पी डी एफ ऑफ द कंप्लीट फॉर्मुला लिस्ट एंड ऑल्सो द लिंक टू द वेरियस क्यूजर्स द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो बेस्ट ऑफ लक फॉर द एग्जाम यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर बाय फॉर नाउ एंड हैव ए ग्रेट डे